Hey, uh, Eric Morton with WWNT. We are here at the Magic Kingdom. They just released uh, this morning all the new holiday treats. We're going to try them, uh, see how they are, and uh, do a quick little review of each one for you. So come on. All right, first up is the holiday dinner dog here at Casey's. Uh, this is uh, this is the short one. There's a foot long version. Uh, this is the short one. It's uh, $12.99. The foot long would be $14.29. Uh, this is a all beef hot dog, cranberry mustard, uh, uh, savory stuffing, funnel cake, and cheese curds. Odd combination. I'm not sure what to expect. So uh, let's dive right in. Um, that is definitely funnel cake on there. I'm not even sure where to start. I'm gonna... It's not bad. I need to go in for another bite. Try to get a cheese curd. I'll take a piece of funnel cake too. As crazy as this thing sounds, it's not bad. I mostly get hot dog, right? I think it tastes a little bit of that uh, cranberry mustard. The funnel cake is the savory stuffing, so it didn't have a lot of flavor. Uh, it's funnel cake that's it's flavored like stuffing. So interesting that I didn't get a whole lot from it. Um, there's some texture, but not a lot of flavor. Anyway, uh, here you are. It's a Casey's Corner, so uh, give it a shot. It's not bad. All right, uh, next up is the Christmas cookie churro. We got that from the uh, refreshment stand that's just west of the hub, right there by the castle. Uh, this is uh, $7.25, served with marshmallow cream, cookie crumbles, and Christmas sprinkles. So let's give, napkin not included. Um, give it a shot. It's a little stale, but the churros at Magic Kingdom are always a little stale. The flavors are really good. That cookie, it's fantastic. It's like a, I think it's oatmeal. Uh, this marshmallow cream is really good. <laughs> nice sprinkles for a little crunch. Um, yeah, if this were, well, I'm try another bite. I would get this again. There's two of them. You can share it. Um, Seven dollars and twenty-five cents. Not terrible. No, I give this one a thumbs up. This is good. Good for sharing. Uh, not terribly expensive compared to uh, a lot of the snacks here. All right. So uh, this is the Christmas wreath donut. This is actually from the uh, refreshment stand on the east side of the hub. Uh, we're over under the lunching pad because uh, there was nowhere to sit over there. There's a show going on. Uh, this is uh, red velvet donut with green buttercream and holiday sprinkle decorations. Uh, the decorations will vary. Um, and it is $4.50. Let's give it a shot. Looks like it's messy, so I'm going to cut it with a knife and fork. It's really good at first, and there's like a it's like a chemical taste. The first, the first bite was fantastic for about three seconds, and then I, I got this little aftertaste. I mean, the buttercream is really good. The donut itself, you can get a look here if you want. I mean, it started out from 
pushing and I kind of empathize with my parents here where it started out promising and ended up kind of disappointing. It's supposed to be what they feel about me sometimes, candidly. But for 450, I mean, I, I probably would skip it even at 450. Let's keep moving. All right, this is the lock, shock, and barrel Sunday. We might rush through this a little because it is uh, raining now. Uh, it is a giant bathtub, uh, I guess Uncle Orville's bathtub, with uh, festive vanilla cake, vanilla ice cream, strawberry topping, whipped cream, and Christmas sprinkles with a lock, shock, and barrel chocolate piece. I guess that's this right here. So I don't know where to start. How do you eat an elephant? One bite at a time. Try to get in there and get some ice cream. The vanilla cake is green. You can see, a little heavy on the strawberry there. Uh, by the way, this thing is $17.99, but I mean, it's, you need multiple uh, spoons for this. Uh, the topping is good. That vanilla cake down at the bottom, it's green for some reason. It's very tasty, it tastes fresh. The ice cream is exactly what you expect. Soft serve vanilla ice cream. And that strawberry topping, again, exactly what you would expect. Whipped cream. Uh, I guess, let's take one more bite. A lot of strawberry topping. And then here's your lock, shock, and barrel crew. Um, for the holidays. And uh, this is printed on some kind of white chocolate. I'll, uh... No, don't eat that. Forget the piece of chocolate, but the sundae itself is good. Whether or not it's worth $17.99, uh, your mileage may vary. Uh, bring extra extra spoons for your friends. Uh, I mean, come on down and give it a shot. It's Annie Gravity's right here at Tomorrowland. All right, this is, uh, this is the Texas-sized sweet potato pie uh, available here at Pecos Bills. Um, it is baked sweet potato pie with marshmallow meringue and candy pecans, or pecans, depending on where you're from. Um, and you can tell it's Texas-sized because it's, well, roughly a little smaller than my hand. So uh, let's give this a shot. Uh, this is, by the way, a tough, tough one to get today. We weren't quite ready when they opened. We saw reports of people ordering on mobile order, got canceled because they didn't have it. We were lucky, we got it. Let's give it a shot. Cut a little piece, a little section here. Ooh, whole thing fell apart on me. There it is. Very good. Um, I got a little too much of that crust with that bite, so it took me a minute to get there. I'm gonna try one with less, a little less crust. A little bottom crust, that? not that big chunk on the side. Oh, this is good. It's cold. And those pecans give a little crunch, but look, they're tiny. So it's not like these overwhelming giant chunks of pecans. They're, they're small and you just get a, like a little crunch with each bite. Obviously this is, uh, this meringue has been kind of uh, caramelized on top. It's very good. This is, a, this is a, a really good one. I'm surprised. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking this was gonna be great. It's great. Give it a shot. All right, uh, next up is the fried pork 
tamale. Uh, it's nine dollars and ninety nine cents. We're here at Golden Oak. Um, it's a uh, fried pork tamale served Christmas style. That's red and green chili sauces and queso fresco. Um, this looks pretty good. My credentials for this is that I did live in New Mexico briefly, so at least I know what Christmas style is. Here's the green side. I like the corners. Let's see. Very good. That green chili is flavorful. The meat is nice, nicely spiced. This is very good. The queso fresco is a little, like there's a giant clump of it here. I'm not sure if it's cold. Um, and it's not falling apart. I guess that's good. It tastes good. Uh, the tamale is a winner though. I really like this. For $9.99, pretty good deal. Next up we have the chai caramel freeze. It's $7.99. Frozen salted caramel tea with chai spiced whipped cream. I got a big blast of caramel there. I love it. Um, that's me. I'm a caramel guy. This is uh, also there's a little moose. You see a little guy on top before he sinks into the into the whipped cream. There's a little moose. Um, I'm gonna make sure I didn't just get like a pocket of syrup or something. Really big caramel flavor there. Um, I'm a fan. I know a lot of people don't think like things that are too sweet. It's pretty sweet. Let me try this whipped cream because that's the Wow. It's really good, that chai uh, flavor, but with a twist. It's, uh, what, chai spiced whipped cream. Um, I I don't drink chai that often. I don't, I'm not a big fan of the flavor, but I, this is good. And it's like the right balance. But it's a lot of caramel. I really, I really like it. I think there's no way I could finish this. It's just a lot. Um, it's very rich, thick, but uh, this one, Golden Oak, both, both of the things are good flavors, the, especially that uh, tamale. But uh, yeah, this is good, it's refreshing, kind of hot out, so give it a shot. All right, so that's it for the new holiday 2022 treats at the Magic Kingdom. The only one we did not get is the, uh, there's a holiday cinnamon roll at the bakery here. Uh, they do not have that ready yet, but it's going to be substantially similar to the cinnamon roll they have now, is what we're told. Um, everything, we had a good time. Uh, almost everything was good. I didn't like that, uh, that donut reef. It was not great. The two, the best savory option I had was that fried pork tamale. It was delicious. That's a golden oak. And then the best sweet option might have been that Texas size sweet potato pie. That's right across the way at Pecos Bills. But uh, you can judge for yourself. Come check them out. Uh, we have a while before the holidays are over now. It is only the beginning of November. So you got some time to come to Magic Kingdom and check it out. Hope this is helpful. Uh, like and uh, comment in the uh, comment section. Let us know how you think we did. See you next time.